What does his post-presidency look like, if you could guess? Uh, I mean, you got to look. You buy into this shit, he's going to be like this big you know, figurehead in the Republican Party. I don't no. know. What? No. He, look, he might still run four years. He, he's crazy enough that he might. But either way, he's either going to live in Trump Tower or he might. Pop, like, I don't want like fall for like the, the the grift that like oh they're gonna actually arrest him and do all this shit. But he might, and like he might be smart to get out of here and go like to somewhere with you know less extradition. I don't think he's gonna do that. I don't think Biden wants that, and I also don't think. I mean, I, I don't think they're gonna do that. I think that I think he decompresses. Yeah. Sobers up, not from booze. He doesn't drink or any of that. But I think sobers up from the idea. Like he'll probably move to like permanently to Mar-a-Lago. I think he'll move permanently to Mar-a-Lago. I think what'll kill him is not going to those rallies. I think those rallies were everything. They were he the never oxygen. had that before. He never had those rallies. You know, he's like it, it seemed like he was always a grifter and like a, a cult he became a god. Yeah, yeah, but he never had the like in person like fucking like the crowd. Well, he never became a god. And you know, me and you touched on this years ago. The greatest thing about Trump, I think, or the, the magic was mm. the implausible becoming the plausible. Right. The idea that he was winning. The idea yeah. that he won. The idea that he was the president. It's a fairy uh, tale. Right. It's a fairy tale. It's an American fairy tale, yeah. right? Now, when a guy like him is not the president, yeah, it's almost like, what are we doing? You know, right. it, it, you seem more and more like a crank. And it's not fun yeah. because the crank is no longer the president. Like, you're just a guy yelling. Oh, yeah. In, in, and people are kind of going to be like, how are we going to be invested in this? Because there's, you know. Well, like, I don't think he does Trump TV. I no. don't think he does. He does think he's running in 2024. He does think that. He's he not going to, but he, he does. thinks it now. I mean, like, it, he'll probably be dead by then. Like, right. he's going to, look, he, I really do feel like he, he, what's keeping him going is, like, adrenaline. And, like, he's taking a lot of bad role allegedly uh and look, i'm just saying like he doesn't seem if troy if troy like, we've always remarked how like these some of these guys these deep state guys always seem to live and, and like well they eat the good food and they, and they take care of themselves right. they're good doctors and now we have a guy like this who's just eating trash every day <laughs> he's just taking drugs still it's like but maybe it's the greatest drug is narcissism like yeah. we realize maybe we realize that's the ultimate survival nobody wants to hear that right but the ultimate survival mechanism is to just be a soulless narcissist for your entire life <laughs> You know, like that's just, just gripping to life. That's the way to survive everything from COVID to fucking everything. But he's just gonna get, he's gonna get fatter, right? Uh, he's gonna play golf every day. Like it's not gonna be remarkable. He's just gonna play golf and get fat. Uh, Fire off a tweet every now and then. He'll probably tweet all the time. He'll probably be cranked out. Yeah, soon. and people are gonna ignore him now. Yeah, it's yeah. just gonna be uh, like you, we're, we're gonna remark how we're gonna at one point say, "Wow, we underestimated how much damage he could still do." We we'll have to say that at some point. Yeah, maybe because he will do. He will cause something <laughs> to happen. Something. I mean, maybe I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm really wondering what's what's that still from? I don't. Like these I are walk. my work makes me have them. The butcher shop I work at. Oh yeah, has me have screensavers on my computer. I mean, I just don't know. But you know, Biden and Kamala, man, they're gonna. I mean, what, what they're gonna put people in jail? You think? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what they'll do. I think we'll probably go to getting into a war soon. We might I mean, need that. You know we need that. We're not getting out of this economic thing without a few little skirmishes. That's a, but here's the problem. We, we don't get out of it with war. That's the myth. And it's not, yeah. I'm not talking about the Henry Hazlitt, like, broken yeah. window fallacy. Yeah. That's a different thing. I'm the, we've had perpetual war for, like, 60 years now, 75 yeah. years. You don't get, like, it doesn't really juke the economy anymore. Like, it worked in World War II because we didn't have all the stuff. Right. We had to build it. Now we, like, we, we keep well, building. it does juke the economy for certain sectors, right? Sort of. I mean, look, here's the thing. You, we have, it's, it's kind of getting it backwards. The economy is set up in such a way where you have to fight wars every 10 years or so just to deplete the stock. Pile so that you can the, the, these companies who run the economy this is what I can mean. buy new ones. This is what I mean. We got you got to you got to play. Right, but that's just to keep the status quo. You got it's reverse. It's reverse. You got to play <laughs> to pay. It's not pay to play. You got to play to pay. And I think we got to play a little bit so we yeah. can pay later. I mean, I don't know, but that's just to keep that sector from imploding. That's yeah. not even to get it like going. 